Hi everyone, my name is Susie from Curious Firefly. Come and paint with me. Grab your watercolors and let's get started. It's Teeny Tiny Tuesday and we're gonna paint some cute and silly sheep. Here's what you need. A three inch square of watercolor paper, tape, a pencil and kneaded eraser, medium and small watercolor brushes, a basic set of watercolors, any will do, a paper towel, and a green colored pencil. If you don't have a green colored pencil, that's okay, just use what you have. It doesn't make a big difference. I've prepared a free PDF of sheep. To get that, all you need to do is join my Curious Firefly Facebook group and it's a free download. So today I'm using a three inch square of B watercolor paper, but you can use whatever you have. I've already traced my sheep on my paper. If I wasn't making a video, I would erase some of the pencil so it isn't so dark, but I want you to be able to see it, so I'm leaving it. I'm placing a dot in each corner a quarter inch away from the edge just to use as a tiny guide when I tape my paper down to my board. My board is a piece of Cellcor PVC from an old sign that I cut up. I'm using plain old paper's tape to tape it to my board. Today I'm using a size 8 silver black velvet brush. Anything similar will be fine. Begin by wetting the sky area with plain water. Today I'm using the Ocean and Forest watercolor set by See My Art, but you can use any watercolor set you have. I've also added a few extra colors to this palette. And then I'll be using Lake Blue, but you could use Cerulean Blue, another blue, or any other color you think would make a great sky. It could be pink, orange, yellow, or whatever. I'm just dropping in some color in kind of a diagonal, leaving some spaces for clouds. You can push the paint and water around if you want to form the clouds. I also lifted some excess water using a damp brush and drying it on a paper towel. If water puddles at the tape edge, be sure to gently wipe it off or it will run back into the painting and move the paint around, making cauliflowers or a white or light edge near the edge of the tape. I'm tilting the painting to make the paint run to areas where I want it without making it muddy by brushing it too much. Let it dry till it's completely dry and it doesn't feel cool to the touch. And don't forget, there's a free PDF of Traceable Sheep on my Curious Firefly Facebook group. Now wet the grass area and pat some light green in with some darker green at the horizon, in the corners, and under the sheep. Paint right over the feet, it won't show.
While the paint is still wet, draw some quick grasses up from the wet paint with a green colored pencil. These don't have to be expensive pencils. I think these came from Dollar Tree or Dollar General. If you don't have a colored pencil, use a regular pencil. It might smudge a little if you rub the finished painting, but it will give much the same effect. I use two colored pencils, but you really can't tell the difference. After I did the pencil marks, I did add a little bit more of the darker green because it kind of follows the pencil marks up and makes your grasses look more real. I used a Zen size 2 detail brush on this one. This is the Zen Detail Brushes. They come in this handy little pouch to store and protect your brushes. They have quickly become some of my favorites. I've only used two out of this set so far, but I use them every day, so they've become a couple of my favorites. Let your painting dry completely. I touched up the green in a couple of places that I thought it needed it, and then let it dry again. Now we're going to paint the body. So wet the body with plain water, avoiding the face. If there are any puddles or there is enough water to roll it around, lift it with a damp brush or blot it on a paper towel. Glossy looking is okay, some shine is okay, matte and cool to the touch is okay. Experiment and see which surface gives the effect that you like. I used a mixture of quite watery paint for this and a small brush. I made some small swirl shapes. If you just pat some areas of paint in and let each pat have some space around it and let them bloom, that makes a pretty effect too. And if any of your painted shapes or pats looks too dark or too wet, lift some water with a small corner of a paper towel or use a damp brush. I speeded up part of this because it's basically doing the same thing just over and over again. And again, let your painting dry completely. Next, we're going to paint the face and the feet. If you wish to paint the face, now is the time to do it. This can be done wet in wet or wet on dry, your choice. Do the face before the feet to avoid smudging the feet. Then paint the feet wet on dry. I'm using Payne's Gray, but I think I like black better, at least on this sheep. Let it dry completely. Next, we're going to ink the outlines of our sheep. I used a Uniball pen to do this. You can use a Micron pen, a brush, a dip pen, whatever you choose. I outlined the body shape because I had the dark pencil lines I wanted to cover. But you can skip this if you want. The only part that's really important is the facial features and feel free to change the facial features if you wish. Anything else you choose is optional. 
Let this dry at least a couple of minutes. You will see in the video, I smeared mine. And here is where I ruined it. And it wasn't even the eraser that ruined it. It was my big fat paw. So here I'm using a very small brush and white ink to cover my smudge. It still shows a little in the end. There is no perfect fix for this, but it helps anyway. This is Copic brand white ink. Stir it up with a toothpick before using. And as you can see, my little friend Snicklefritz was helping me. She's never very far away from me and she loves to paint. When your painting is finished, let it dry completely before you remove the tape. Here are some other paintings I did just to give you an idea of what your sheep might look like. In the PDF, there's lots of other sheep shapes and faces you can choose from too. So I invite you to join our Curious Firefly Facebook group. Thank you for watching and happy painting.